Hey everyone, I'm Andy, an international tax advisor since 2014, a chartered accountant since 2018, and on this channel, I help business owners navigate the complex world of international tax. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing whether UK business owners should be considering setting up a US LLC. So one of the most common questions I get from UK based online business owners is should I set up a US LLC such as a Wyoming or Delaware company? Now there's a lot of hype in the online space about these companies and probably the headline that a lot of people get attracted to is the fact that these companies don't pay any income tax. So naturally a lot of people assume that this could be a tax efficient way to structure your business is have some form of US LLC in your structure. Now, this is technically true, the companies themselves do not pay any income taxes, but this can also be a little bit misleading because it's not giving you the full picture. Just because the US LLC does not pay tax doesn't mean that you'll be paying no tax on those profits. So how does the taxation of an LLC work? Well, a US LLC is a pass-through entity, and so this means that the profits pass through the company, and this contrasts to a UK limited company, for example, where the profits are actually subject to corporate tax, and then you might have to pay some income taxes on, on money you take out the business. So it sounds good that the US LLC does not have to pay any of these corporate taxes, but as mentioned, as a pass-through entity, what happens is the tax burden is actually passed on to the business owner. And so whilst the company isn't paying any taxes, you as the owner will potentially have to pay income taxes on the profits of the business. Now, for this video, we're assuming that you are a UK tax resident. And as a UK tax resident, you're subject to taxes on your worldwide income. And so this includes income from your Delaware LLC. So from a tax perspective, you'll have to report the profits of the LLC on your UK self-assessment tax return. And so really, this is no different to if you just had a self-employment income source in the UK. Now, some people will say, but I avoid paying corporate tax at the company level, so this is a good thing. You're effectively avoiding the double taxation issue of paying corporate tax and then paying income tax after that. And yeah, that can be true. In, in certain situations, that can be beneficial. But this is going to be highly dependent on your income level, your plans for the business, and just your overall personal circumstances. In some cases, it can actually be more tax efficient to have a limited company. This is because, as previously mentioned, the LLC's profits are treated like any other self-employment profits. You're taxed in the year in which those profits are earned. It doesn't matter if you keep the cash in the business. The profits are what HMRC taxes regardless of what you do with the cash. And so your income tax rate could end up being really high. The highest rate of income tax in the UK is 45% or if you're in Scotland, 47%. But if you have a limited company, it's different. Yes, you will pay corporate tax on the profits of the business but you'll get to choose whether you extract this as salary or dividends, or you can just allow this to build up in the company over time. So in some cases, you might only be paying the corporate tax rate, which is 19 to 25%, depending on your profits. So, you know, in many cases, this can be actually quite beneficial, especially if you have plans to, to keep profits accumulating in the business. And then perhaps in the future, you work out a more tax efficient way to, to extract these. But let's just say you have worked this out and you've come to the conclusion that you still do want a pass-through entity. You don't want to be paying corporate tax on your profits. Well, there's another option. You can actually just have a UK version of this, which is a, a UK limited liability partnership, an, an LLP. So this is also a pass-through entity and basically provides the same tax benefits as a, a US LLC. And it's a lot cheaper to run. So a UK LLP will cost £12 to set up via company's house and you'll have an annual £13 and a filing fee. So this contrasts to a Delaware LLC, for example, which you'll have to pay an annual franchise tax of $300. And on top of that, you're going to need a registered agent service in Delaware 
who are going to have to provide your registered address and some of your compliance responsibilities. And this could cost anything between $100 to $300 per year, depending on the provider. So it could quickly mount up way more expensive than a UK LLP. And so this is definitely a consideration that is important to think about. So considering all this, is there any benefit for a UK tax resident to have a US LLC? Well, there still can be. And one of these benefits may be privacy. So you might be aware that if you have a company in the UK, the details of the business are uploaded to Companies House and the general public can basically look at this public database and see a lot of information about the business, such as the names of the directors, the shareholders, the address of the business, the residency of the, the key people in the business. And a lot of people don't want this level of exposure and you know would prefer to keep these details private. So a Delaware LLC differs from the perspective of privacy in that there is no company's house equivalent where the details are available to the general public that they can just search for online. So nobody can just access a database which shows the, the key owners of the business or the details of any directors, members, shareholders. And so this does give you a lot of privacy protection that you wouldn't get with Companies House. So depending on your business, depending on, on how you like to run things, this can absolutely be beneficial to, to certain business owners. Another benefit could be if you have US clients. So you will often find if you're dealing with US clients, many of them do prefer to pay invoices to, to US LLCs or, or just general US bank accounts. Another benefit could be access to US business bank accounts. Now, this isn't necessarily required for everyone. There's a lot of multi-currency options these days for, for UK online business banking, but sometimes the, the US providers can be really good. I mean, the US still offers a lot of different business bank account options, especially for businesses who might want some financing. Mercury is a really common uh, bank of choice for a lot of people who are non-residents and, and they tend to be very friendly to, to non-resident LLC owners. But in general, the US banking system is still strong. There's a lot of options there and it just gives you more availability and choice when it comes to the banking options if you have a US LLC. Another benefit to having a US LLC as a UK tax resident could be future investment. Now, if you've got a business that's growing and you're wanting to scale it and you're potentially thinking about getting some investor cash in the future, then a US LLC could definitely open you up to, to more options and, and getting that investment from, from the US side. You know, the US is still the place where people go most to, to seek funding from, from potential investors. And similar to how the fact that US clients often prefer to be paying invoices to US LLCs, US investors also often prefer to invest in, in US companies. And then finally, if we go back to the tax potential benefits. Now, as we've discussed in this video, if you are a UK tax resident, it's not clear that there's significant tax benefits to be had by just having a US LLC. But if you do have plans to leave the UK in the future, and if you think that there may be a time where you won't be a UK tax resident, then the benefits of having a US LLC can be much more apparent. But this is a bit more complex and I'll talk about this in future videos. So hopefully this has served as a useful introduction to the things that you'll have to consider. As a UK tax resident, there's usually not a lot of tax benefit to having a US LLC, but there can be benefits from commercial perspective, whether you have US clients, whether you need privacy for the business, or whether you potentially need access to US capital in the future. And of course, if you are to become a UK non-resident in the future, then more benefits can open up. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions on this topic or want me to expand further on any of the points I've touched on, just let me know in the comments below. Cheers.